Wow. And he caught a big one. He caught about a 34-pound, 56-pound. I don't remember what it was. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Any- but who cares about the cat's eye view of anything? Because... Ren cat, from know, Australia does care about the cats on you, even the pink butts. But cats are the <laughs> assholes of house pets. Yeah. They are. They're only they're, assholes if you're an asshole to them. No, they're assholes. No, they're assholes. My they're cats assholes. aren't assholes. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Cats are assholes. They're not assholes. Last time I was at your house, your cat told me to flip off. I was like, what? See? He was like, yeah, because you put your penis in front no, of him. No, I did not. Yes, I did. Not deserve, yes I was, you did. I just tried to pet him, and he was like, eh. And I was like, all right, dude. Yeah, but that right. was him. He's not with us anymore. I'm sorry. No, he was. He, we we, we, we moved him out of the house. We moved oh, him okay. somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> wow, gotcha, bitch. Yeah, because yeah, he was probably an asshole. He had no, to go. No, he was just. Not he a was, nice he guy. was a free spirit. He was like Joe. If you mess with him, he'll punch you right in the eye hole. That means he's an asshole. But anyways, I, I, I saw a funny story or a funny video on YouTube <laughs> the other day, and it was cats knocking things off shelves. Oh, but it was they, people. No, it was just cats just going <laughs> swat, swat, just knocking anything over they could find, just. It was a great videos. It was hilarious. Have you seen the one? What if? What if people were cats? And it has the guy. No, I haven't. It has the guy sitting on the t- like the desk by the computer, and he just goes like this. He raises his hand back and then knocks the glass <laughs> off the table. Uh, it's, it's really really funny. It's worth the uh, worth the watch and listen. I can imagine. Do we have a little issue with the Behringer box? God, stop messing with the headphone splitter. I gotta mess with it because mine keeps shorting out my headphones. Short. You need to calm down. There must be something wrong with this box. Can Wait, you? is Miggy telling me I need to calm down? <laughs> hey, how about, what if I do this? That's fine. better. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fixed You're it, welcome, bro. I, I love it when you push in my box. Mm. <laughs> oh, hey. I teased this before the break, guys. Uh, yes, you did. The, <laughs> your box. Um, <laughs> <laughs> back in ba- back in olden times, as people like to say. Foscon seven years ago. Why did you sound like Jimmy Stewart when you yeah, said that? Well, <laughs> was actually, that was actually... Foscars, he. No, that was like Kennedy doing Lincoln. Foscars. Oh, Foscars, seven, seven years, years ago. ago. from Baton County Bunk Park. <laughs> yeah, County Bunk Park. <laughs> 460 million years ago. Oh, okay, way back. So, Jesus Christo. So that was like uh, like three or four days before you were born? Oh. Exactly. Before the T-Rex, okay. Okay. Earth, Earth's dominant predator, uh... Before Toby was actually uh, <laughs> <laughs> was actually a sea scorpion, according to scientists, it would have reached a length of five feet seven inches. So That's a full a huge full foot and a half taller than Sancho had a <laughs> had a spike tail and claws sprouting from its head. Apparently, back then Iowa was covered by an ocean, and this thing right, was right, uh, right, right. was indigenous to Iowa. Bless you. Wow. Well, I tell you what, I definitely would have had one like instead of a horse, I'd have been riding that because who's going to mess with you? Yeah, but right? you're riding the horse and then it pops you right in the back of the head. Now you train you it. You got to figure train something it. out with that. You put a rope on it. Put a, rope on it. <laughs> put a bird on. Strap it. that stinger down. I put a bird on it. So Ben, you said it was five <laughs> feet seven inches. That's about what twelve centimeters. No, at one point it's yeah. <laughs> no, that's about uh, <laughs> about eighteen centimeters. About eighteen. Okay. Because everyone knows, according to uh, when you're trying to measure Science. when you're measuring macaque, you know the monkey. Everyone knows that 1.6 <laughs> centimeters equals 8 inches. Yeah. So you use that as a sliding scale. That's a conversion. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Well, it does. That course. makes sense. It okay. does, yeah. I mean, I'm not I'll letting either one of you guys build anything around my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying, dude. I think you'd be like those, those uh, Stonehenge things on uh, Spinal Tap. You're like, no, 11 feet. I said, not 11 inches. Anybody seen the movie? It would, yeah, be, cool. it would actually be 13.4 centimeters based on that math. Well, for five feet. They said five feet. Yeah. Right? 1.6 centimeters is about eight inches. Right? That's yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't just, have my... Uh, just, just go with it. I don't, right, need, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need a complex. I'm sorry. <laughs> just Joe, go with it. Joe's a little new to this. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't heard this, this yeah. new map. Yeah, yeah. 1.6 1. centimeters. This is centimeters. a new math I hear kids talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. It's, it's, I, yeah, I don't, what, I don't is it, what do they call that new math? Common core math. That's, that's what it Common is. Common core, I don't yeah. know. I don't Dude, really how badass would it be to clone one of these scorpions domesticate it while you're raising oh, yeah. it from infancy and that is your your beast of burden you're riding this thing okay you know uh, that that chick that rode the the barbie uh motorized the uh, power wheels on campus that you we talked about per- earlier you be perseus all over again that's pretty badass but imagine riding this puppy on campus let me see it <laughs> this is badass dude put a little saddle on that thing god damn yeah it's got it looks claws like a, it looks like a ceno- uh, what are the centibite what do they call it? Or a trilobite. It looks like a trilobite with like a huge, crazy like claws on it. I'd get down with that, dude. That'd be an awesome thing. Domesticate that thing and ride it everywhere? Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. if Riding it might be tough because I don't know if they have the actual brain power to like train them like, say, a horse. But they, you could definitely tie a couple up in your front yard and nobody would come from messing with your house. You, you know take, what I mean? You, you, you take the tail and push it into its own head uh, in, in 
Clash the no, you just have to get like a, the Titans. like one of those big erasers off one of them fat pencils and just <laughs> Shut stick it on the tail. <laughs> have, just kind of bump you in the back of the head. Wear a helmet. You'd be like, hey, you trying to stick it. You'd be like, have you gotcha, seen the, bitch. Have you seen the guys that go up in the... You know what a harpy eagle is? It's the largest bird of prey, right? It's I mean, it's huge. These guys got to go up in the trees when they're trying to film them, and they wear these huge yeah. like cones around their head yeah. that protect the... Because the claws will impale the back of their head. Right. So you'd have to wear one of those while you're riding the super duper scorpion. Well, if you thing. had the if you had the if you had the eraser on there, you'd be fine. Yeah. The what? I so you'd take a big eraser off one of them big, you know. Oh, no- I thought you were talking pencils. Arnold Schwarzenegger and and, and uh, Vanessa. What's her name? The the singer. No, that was Jimmy Lee Curtis. He's been erased. No, no, it was eraser. He was Vanessa. I thought Jimmy Lee Curtis Williams. was in eraser. No, Vanessa Williams. No, the singer. she was in. Um, she was in. Uh, uh, True lies. True lies. Well yeah. played, bro. That's that's correct. Yes, that's why I suck at the movie quote Take challenge. Take off your clothes slowly, slower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, guys, we are going to jump into a commercial break. All when right. we get back. Uh, we've got some wedding stories. The cause in the news again as well. That's Bill unbelievable. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Bill, are you looking forward to being on next segment? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Quaalude. <laughs> <laughs> all you craniacs, the penultimate segment when we get back. Stay with us. Sancho, come here. Hi, I'm Herschel Cohen. When I moved from the old country to New York and finally to Tampa Bay, it became harder and harder for me to find authentic kosher sandwiches. Finally, I created what I believe is the perfect union between meat and bread. But I realized it was missing something. With the help of my Gentile brother-in-law, Seamus O'Malley, I understood a great brew was the ideal accompaniment to my kosher delight. That's why we created Hebrews. Here, we have the chutzpah to create the glory of America's past in a great meal with a great beer. At Hebrews, we bring together bagels and lox and beers and shamrocks. Oh, the ultimate mix between two separate cultures in one set of taste buds. Along with Seamus' tremendous zeal in the 12-step program, we're able to merge our Judeo-Christian palate. Don't dine where prices make you say, oi bay. Eat at Hebrews where your wallet will say, okay. Oh. Do you feel like Mother Nature has made a mistake? Does your outward appearance differ from the person within? The Gender Reassignment Center may have a solution for you. Dr. Les Johnson is the leading expert in sex reassignment surgery. So if you suffer from gender identity disorder, why not call our office for a free consultation? Hi, I'm Susan, but I wasn't born that way. Dr. Les Johnson performed a vaginoplasty and Adam's apple shaving that would fool even the most sober of men. The recovery period exceeded my expectations. And the best of all, I don't have to grow out a thick bush to hide that unwanted scar tissue. Whether I want to go with a landing strip or a Brazilian, my VJJ is a okay. The Gender Reassignment Center offers affordable pay plans and can assist with relocation for those seeking a new start. So call us at one five 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 new unit to begin your transformation. Big Muffins! Yo, this Big Muffin, what you do? You get caught tripping? Miss Court, you got a warrant? No matter what you did, you got cash, Big Muffin's got your ass. Day or night, we'll keep your butthole right. Call one five 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 butt right Big Muffin's Bail Bond, service in Greater Central Florida. Hey, Harry Carey here. Just because I'm tore on the cob doesn't mean you shouldn't be tore on the Crady Lemission Show with Ben Charles, Miguel Hito, and the Reverend Joey T. And what's tore on the cob, you might ask? It's the King of Beers, but it's the new King of Beers, ES Bay Brewery. Uh, welcome back to the Crady Mission Show, folks, the penultimate segment of the program. Ben Charles, Miguel Hito. The C Square, mm. the Reverend Joey T, mm. the fearsome, foursome here from the Lions Den, 1704 and a half, 7th Avenue here in the Ebor Muta Triangle, a fine cigar bar where you can get good craft beer, good wine, and you can just hang out with us. I mean, it's, it's a winning combination. Go and see the Naughty Nicole or now the 
the fine faith back there. They're oh, switching that one. Good look one. at you. A little yeah. alliteration there. They switch from she Leah is to our, Faith. She is our resident sort of Filipino. What was that? She's our, our, our flip, our Filipino. Yeah, yeah. she's our flip. Yeah. I mean, that's the, <laughs> that's the um, preferred term. Oh, man, you, you and your links. You screwed up another link. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's it's tough work, okay? It is. When you're yeah. half asleep. <laughs> I, was, I was tired. <laughs> you know, Miggy, uh, uh, party, you know, binge partying is rough. I mean, for, I mean, I ran into. Especially e- for a 50-year-old man like you. Well, I mean, Evie was hanging out here Wednesday. She saw me. I mean, I've been binge partying since we Wednesday. Haven't, we haven't seen Eve uh, since. The Talkie Awards in wow. 2014. I know. Time goes by. You know I, I'm worse? surprised I remember that because I was fucking hammered. Yes, you and were. And you notice I blanked that. I didn't say the full you word. You were yeah. hammered. I was hammered. Yeah. Do you know what's oh, worse? Oh, you're going for some ghost love. Then uh, the oh. binge party, barge party. Have you ever been on a barge and party? No. No. No, it's not. A dumpster? It's, like a garbage yeah, barge? Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> 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 it smells horribly good. But it's a cheap place to go, man. You know what I mean? So You know, actually, a backyard che- could work just as good just for future reference. Yeah, but sometimes you don't have a backyard. you got to go to the barge. Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I, the, <laughs> the cheapest place you can party apparently is in uh, South Korea. What? You can actually get paid to go to a wedding. So Hagamashi Thai. Hagamashi Thai. I did that story like two years, a story just like that a couple years ago where you rent relatives. You oh, can yeah? actually rent relatives no, for a party. But, but that was, uh, well, one of the stories we talked about in the past was in China, you could rent friends for your funeral. Remember that? Yeah, yeah but yeah. We, also did, we also did a story when, uh, like early in the ESB days where it was called Hagamashi Time, yeah, where you rent that. relatives. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if you don't like the relatives, they'll come and replace them halfway through the party. It's awesome. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'm sorry. No, this, well, this is very similar to that. You can rent um, friends for your wedding. You know, Hell it, yeah. It's, it, it's a big thing to make sure you look like you have a lot of friends. So uh-huh. you can rent friends. There's a, there's a uh, Kim Seon. She's a guest. And, 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 yeah. She makes about $20 per wedding, and she will, uh, as a pretend friend, she gets paid twenty bucks to show up and be a friend, and she'll do three or four weddings a day. Do you get like a do you get like a dossier stuff? before it happens, so you know a when you, so you can be like, okay, yeah, <laughs> we met in college. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, it's a good deal to get twenty bucks for the wedding because any good food. wedding has an open bar. Right, right. Where did exactly. you meet? Where did you meet in college? Hong Kong. No, again. <laughs> if, if I have a friend of mine, look, Nakatomi Heights. Or a, any friend that <laughs> any friend that invites me to a wedding. If you don't have an open bar, you're a schmuck. Yeah. And I'm not going to your wedding. I'm sorry. No offense. Congratulations on your wedded bliss. But if I can't drink for free, I'm not going. Hey, wedding. Hey, wedded bliss is not good if we can't get pissed. Is that exactly? We're and and <laughs> so the food's good usually at the wedding, right? Yeah. You get fed. You get drunk. Yeah. It's a nice occasion. And you make 20 bucks. There's a lot of single horny chicks. You don't have to bring a gift. So you get, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you think about it. Usually when you got to go to a wedding. You're supposed to give them some money or give them a gift. Instead, you're getting paid. So this yeah. is, they're making out pretty good yeah, on this. And worst case, you throw that 20 bucks in the tip jar for the uh, for the open bar. Then it doesn't cost you anything at all, and you get to drink and party for free. We have to make some new friends. We have know? an yes, update. and you probably get laid. We have an update. You can do this in America, too, starting at $199 to more than 1000 This woman will participate in your thing. Just saying. I don't need that. Anja Winnika. Hundred ninety nine dollars for a thousand people. Tie the knot. She will. She will get. She will get you people to attend your wedding. Holy crap! Oh, she was like a like a marketer or something. A, wow. Wow, that's, that's sad. If you actually got to. But do you know, that, the, the, you know, I remember my wedding, and uh, I actually had to exclude people because you know that's what I'm thinking, right? Well, it's just so damn expensive. Everyone. But it's so on. expensive. But that that's half your problem right there is that you remember your wedding. But go ahead. You're not well, supposed to no, remember. No. You're supposed to get I don't drunk. remember the wedding. I, oh, okay. I, okay. Yeah, no. I got some great stories about that one. I'll, but but go on. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to remember. remember paying for it. No, no, I didn't pay for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you were saying? <laughs> I don't remember. No. Um, you know, it's you pay all this money per person to go to the wedding. You know, I, I wanted to cut it back. You know, hey, yeah, no, we don't need them here. We don't need them. And it got, I mean... We looked at it. We figured, okay, we got probably 150 people. That's no problem. Wow. We, we can We can have everybody there. When then we realized that 75 of that, at least, was just family that we had to invite. So we only had a friend list of about 75 after that. Well, then you start breaking that up into couples, and then, you know, it just starts adding up to the point where it was like, holy crap, we don't have, you know, we had to, we had to exclude people that I felt bad for. So I can't imagine having to... to <laughs> Provide more people to come to your wedding and pay for them to be there. How I mean, sad. pay them and pay for their their meal and how, drinks. And how thing. sad is it that you have to hire people because you don't have enough friends? And you got to figure that the no. pe- the people that are 
um, up for this, the ones that, that are throwing their hat in the ring to get paid for this. Yeah. It, look, I, I've done some independent film work here in Tampa. Miggy, I know you have as well. I have. Uh, working with extras sucks to begin with. Extras are, are a pain in the ass.